Howdy. Man, this heat wave has not been kind to me. Okay, so today I wanted to do a video about trying to do a painting backwards. I know it's a challenge in the like in the beauty community and I thought it looked cool, so I thought I'd give it a go, but I wasn't sure how to interpret the brief. I could do it, there's a number of ways I could do this. I could either do it so that I do like the Da Vinci thing where he, he wrote everything in his diary backwards with a mirror, but that looks really difficult and I'm not sure if my brain can cope. Um, but it is, it does look very interesting, so I might have to psych myself up and do that for another video. So I think the the method I'm going to go with is probably the, the same one that everyone kind of does, where I'm just going to do it in reverse order, like reverse the steps. So I was thinking about what I usually do and trying to break it down. Now what I usually do is do um, a layer of graphite pencil, a graphite sketch, and then I turn that into colour pencil sketch, and then I do inking, colour and highlights. But with the pencil sketch I always erase that afterwards, and if I was to do it in reverse I'd have to erase nothing and then add pencil to it, and also adding pencil to the end. I think that's going to look a bit shit, so I might skip that step. So, the order that I'm going to do things in today is going to be highlights, then I'm going to do colour, then I'm going to ink it, and then I'm going to... Yeah, and this works out pretty good because then I can use um, pencils to neaten it up. I am going to use um, reference pictures though, just because I am a coward. Shame me, if you will. So after some consideration I decided to use watercolours because I thought that they would be the most forgiving if I went wrong, which I definitely will. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is these highlights. Um, I'm going to use my masking fluid and this, um, I think it's a clay carving thing and I thought it would be best to use with my masking fluid this time because I've already ruined so many brushes trying to use this stupid ass masking fluid. I don't like it. I hate it. I'm really bad at using it. Someone teach me how. Okay, so basically I just kind of splashed um, some masking fluid on random dots here and there and kind of hope that they're kind of in the right place. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is the colouring. Now I kind of realised when I started to put the flats down with these watercolours that this is a pretty normal method to do watercolours in for people who actually know how to paint with watercolours. I don't really know, I just kind of make it up as I go along. Yeah, this is like a very average normal method that people who know what they're doing do. I just don't know what I'm doing. So I'm going to start off with some very loose, sh loosey goosey shapes. How I usually do paintings like this is that I would obviously do a sketch, do a very detailed uh, like coloured line art and then I'd paint on top of that so that the line art kind of blends into the colours and I get really high contrast that way and it's just the method that I prefer to use. Um, so trying to think about all of that in reverse was challenging, but I think it's, um, I think it was also good to just kind of get me out of a rut, <laughs> if, if nothing else. Um, but yeah, it was fun. So with this colouring, I'm going to add more and more detail as I go along. Not quite bordering on line art yet. Um, I'm just going to try and get as many as the basic shapes in as I can. There is a fly on my computer. Piss off. Okay. Um, <laughs> the fly left, I didn't kill it. Yeah, so I'm going to try and get as much shapies as I can with the colour blocking so that I can outline it later, but like not really outline it, but I don't... I'm not going to do like a proper thick outline, but I just, I'm still going to outline it because it's my process. So yeah, um, the way that I decided to work was light to dark, just because that is generally the way that watercolours go. Maybe if I were to do this again, I'd have to reverse that as well. I don't know, does that count? Next time, should I do it dark to light? I don't know. I should have broken this down into more steps. 
yeah so I moved on to some darker colors uh, which were mainly the leaves and I used this blue color because I thought it would contrast with the orange flowers because color theory and blue and orange are opposites um, so they work well together and also I really like this bluey greeny color I use it in everything so I got all of these basic shapes down I think it looks looking pretty cool uh, kind of worried that I'm gonna ruin it with the liner but I went ahead and did it anyway so there we go so after I've got all my base colors down I'm gonna use the darkest tone that I used and I'm gonna use that for my outline and I'm gonna water it down as and when I need to so that it blends in with the rest of the colors I'm gonna use the darkest tone in the painting so that it kind of all works together it's not like a really harsh black when there's all these pastel colors but it's still quite in your face and that's just how I paint so I went ahead and did it and here's my tiny little inking brush I've missed this little guy I, I I don't know why I find it so satisfying to just outline shapes it's just it's very good I like it a lot even if it didn't <laughs> I'm not sure if it'll work particularly well with this piece because it's very watercolory and wishy-washy at the moment and that's kind of it, it looks like it's on purpose um and if i mess up this line art it's gonna look bad very much not on purpose so let's just keep our fingers crossed so it looks pretty all right so far i'm i was pretty surprised with how well the line art worked with what i already had um, so that was a pleasant surprise, to say the least. Um, so after I did the outline in this really dark bluish green, I went back in with my sketching pencils and I did a sketch on top of what I've already done. Um, the pencils I used were, I think, mainly purple and red. And I used this to just kind of highlight some of the, some shadows add some tonal contrast. Um, I also did use a white colour pencil and I'm cheating and I'm doing highlights at the end when I was meant to do it at the beginning but it's still a colour pencil so it counts as a sketch. Sue me. I did also forget to um, take the, the masking fluid off for the highlights and I did that just before I started the sketch layer. Um, and I sh definitely should have put more on because it hardly showed up at all and I put them all in the wrong place because I couldn't plan so that's not really my fault. Other than that I'm pretty pleased with this painting to be fair like I didn't I wasn't expecting anything going in and I got something pretty good going out. Um, I didn't make the whole composition as good as it can be so I think if I were to to keep this, I'd want to get a frame for it that like crops out all of the, the edges that I didn't fill. So it's like really just in your face with all these flowers. I think that would look like a pretty cool picture hanging up. So there we go. That's my painting in reverse. Uh, highlights, colors, outline and sketch. This challenge was fun. It was definitely good. I, uh, I'd like to do more fun little challenges like this so if anyone has any recommendations for artsy challenges that they'd like to see me do or want to see me fail at or want to see me suffer at then please leave them in the comments. And yeah I think that's it for now so thank you for watching for making it through another video. I don't know how you did it my voice is very annoying but yeah I might See you around in the next one, I guess.